Okay, Aries, I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful likes, shares, and support. Aries, this is their love reading, and it is for January, February. Whenever you pick up this love reading, um, it is for the timeline that you pick it up. You're coming in um, having to deal with uh, um, following up, okay? So you're following up on something. You are in, you know, taking your time. A lot of you chocolate brown men are going to be having some sort of a problem, okay? And uh, um, you chocolate brown men are having some sort of a um, karmatic issue. And it has to do with uh, um, forgiving and learn, okay? We see a lot of flirting coming in for you, Aries. So that is good, especially um, Aries business entrepreneur. I see a lot of flirting. We have the Caucasian here, and the Caucasian is going through some sort of an issue, some sort of a problem um, with some sort of a um, work endeavor. That sort of a situation is transpiring. So I see you, um, chocolate brown men, are dealing with a whole lot of karmatic relationship, and you need to release, release and heal the past, chocolate brown men, whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring you, chocolate brown men, need to release the past. You experience more love in your present moment when you release this karmatic issue and situation that you're dealing with. So a lot of chocolate brown men is dealing, and a lot of men are dealing with a karmatic situation, but especially chocolate brown men, it's going to be affecting you guys more because um, we are now recognizing where the issue, where the problem, where the situation lies and uh, a lot of you chocolate brown men are being affected by this situation. Then we see spiritual growth for um, the Caucasian men. Um, so Caucasian men, um, a lot of spiritual growth is going to be coming up. A lot of you are going to be very understanding of some sort of an issue, problem, situation that is being created. And um, um, spiritual growth is coming up where you're going to be understanding a whole lot of uh, issues, things, and problems. Then we see you Aries are dealing with an um, an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra woman. I see a lot of flirting for you uh, Aries um, entrepreneurs. You're flirting with uh, this Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person. I see a whole lot of flirting at the workplace and that sort of a thing that is going on. I see you entrepreneur men or extending um, your lighthearted energies to others. So we see that this sort of a situation is happening and transpiring. So a lot of spiritual growth uh, is coming up for you, Aries. And um, this is basically good because what is happening and transpiring is like a lot of men are now understanding where they are, what has been transpiring in their lives. And a lot of men are associated with understanding the um, what they're going through in their marriage relationship. Um, you know, why is their relationship? Why things have been out of use? Why have things been so hard for um, them? They are now understanding and they're trying to put the puzzle together and to create a better reaction to what was happening and transpiring. So um, men, especially in this time period and this timeline, is going to be associated with creating um, better love relationships, whether you're married, um, not married, whatever is transpiring. I see a whole lot of you men are going to be creating a lot of uh, love relationships, a lot of issues you're trying to resolve with your partner. And this is uh, going to be good. So um, life sometimes brings us lime. And we have to make uh, um, uh, lemonade. And in love in this month is about you guys recognizing where you are, what is happening, and what is transpiring. And trying to um, place um, yourself in a positive light in order to acknowledge the things that needs to be changed. 
Now, this is good because sometimes a lot of people do not want to recognize, um, uh, you know, what is transpiring in their world that needs to be changed. And what is coming up and is transpiring is that people are now understanding, hey, um, you have to recognize what is going on. You have to um, pay attention to the things that has been happening in your world. You have to make um, other decisions. You have to create other um, um, situation in order to have a best, a better, healthier relationship in your world. So each and every person has to deal with this, um, whatever is happening and transpiring. Each and every person um, have to deal with these sort of a situation. So um, this month is your month. Another month is going to be another person. When we look at the Caucasian, especially the Caucasian working men, I see a lot of issues that you need to deal with. So Caucasian working men, a whole lot of issues. You're also having to deal with forgiveness, forgiveness of some sort of a um, dishonest play that has transpired and happened in your world. I see a whole lot of you, the Caucasian men, are recognizing um, that um, another man could have uh, access and uh, create some sort of uh, issues for your um, family or for yourself. We're going to be looking where did that affect you. And now you're standing up and is asking for forgiveness. Whoever this chocolate brown man is uh, that has uh, affected you Caucasian men, I see that you are definitely going to be recognizing uh, and, um, you know, looking within and asking for forgiveness. So a lot of you Caucasian men, um, there could be some sort of a problem, whether it's a same sex relationship. I see a lot of men, um, you know, you Aries men that is having same sex relationship, a whole lot of situation is coming up. And I see a whole lot of problems that could be um, happening for you. And then we're recognizing that uh, you Caucasian men are going to be growing spiritually because you recognize what is happening. Some of you chocolate brown men are going through some sort of uh, a divorce. Divorce is coming up for some of you um, brown chocolate brown men. Um, divorce is coming up. And with this divorce, you're learning um spiritual growth okay and, and and that is what is needed um in your life at this moment in order to facilitate and recognize so what has been happening and what has been transpiring so um a lot of you i see um entrepreneur men could be flirting flirting with aquarian gemini or libra people a whole lot of flirting is happening be careful about work relationship ladies and gentlemen that is where the biggest problem is. So recognize where you are, what is transpiring. A lot of um, um, work um, men uh, um, who are working is also um, affected um, by this situation. A lot of men who are working is affected by some sort of a karmatic relationship. And there is also forgiveness. So men are basically feeling this energy um, that is transpiring, men are now recognizing that um, there has to be some sort of a change. Whatever is going on, whatever is happening, the changes needs to happen and the changes is uh, um, basically going to be beginning with you because now a lot of you men are recognizing that uh, um, some sort of a changes has to occur um, for some of you to deal with your life, your relationships, what was happening, what was transpiring in order to bring some sort of an emotional balance. So it is going to be roller coaster for you men and especially men that is in a relationship with Aries Leo or Sagittarian. There is going to be some sort of an emotional coaster um, that is transpiring because you need to find yourself, you need to balance out your emotions. A lot of you have been dealing with a whole lot of emotions and uh, it is time to balance out these emotions so that a lot of you can regain um, emotional balance. So, so I see um, a lot of you are um, recognize that if you're in a relationship with an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra, this person is uh, 
um, has been creating some sort of an issue, some sort of a problem. However, this is transpiring. They're recognizing that a whole lot of problems and a whole lot of issue was created um, that was not needed. People are now recognizing it. People are now seeing it. People are now understanding it and recognizing why and where these issue was created and by who and for what reason. So I see that this is a situation that is going to be transpiring. A whole lot of spiritual growth is for you men. Some sort of a divorce issue um, that is transpiring. Divorce could be ending. Divorce could be beginning. But I see a lot of you Caucasian men is going to be asking for forgiveness for a chocolate brown man that a man that has created issue for you. I gotta go, but please thumbs up, like, and share these videos and move into the other side. I'd love for you to come along. If not, I will see you next time. If you want to see the extended of this reading, use the blue button in order to accelerate and use the blue button in order to um, balance out what is happening and you can see the extended reading. Namaste till next time. Welcome, uh, Leo. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Uh oh, thank you for the wonderful likes and share. All right, so what we're saying is um friendship and I see um control. So a lot of you are dealing with the relationships that is going to be ending in friendship and uh, um some sort of a control issue that some of you are dealing with. I see a beautiful queen and I see freedom. So whatever is happening and transpiring, some sort of a freedom is coming up. For you beautiful young ladies, uh, free from some sort of a restriction, free um, to do anything you want to do, free to acquire um, whatever that it is that you um, want to acquire in your life. So a lot of you um, young ladies were in some sort of a controlling relationship and now you're free. You're standing your ground, you're letting up, you're taking back your life and this is good. Some sort of unexpected gifts is going to be coming in. Some of you could be meeting your twin flame. Stay optimistic about your love life. Whatever is happening and transpiring Leos, you got to stay optimistic about your love life. Whatever the problems, the issues that there was, stay optimistic and try to resolve the issue. So a lot of you women is going to be breaking free, breaking free from some sort of a controlling relationship. A lot of you who are looking for your twin flame, um, your twin flame is going to be coming aboard. So this is going to be good. Um, free yourself is going to be one of the most significant things, whatever is happening and transpiring. I see a lot of you are going to be freeing yourself, freeing yourself from what was happening and transpiring. You're going to be standing your ground and make sure that you free yourself from um, a whole lot of issues and problems that was transpiring. A lot of you are going to be ending relationship, but is going to be, um, um, you know, ending relationship and that sort of a thing, but you're going to be ending up being friends. Okay. So, um, whatever is transpiring, if uh, some of you are ending some sort of a um, twin flame relationship, I see you're ending this relationship, but you're going to be ending up being friends. A lot of you are basically trying to free yourself from some sort of a relationship, um, long distance relationship. And I see a lot of you recognize I'm free from the situation. I can now be free to do what I want to do. And I see that a lot of you are going to be um, recognizing that maybe it is best. So maybe it is best for me to let go of some sort of a uh, controlling situation that was transpiring and open up myself to more love um, and affection uh, to who I am and who I'm around. So I see freedom is coming in and freedom um, from things and situation that was transpiring. Freedom because uh, a lot of people recognize that there was uh, um, some sort of a control situation in your relationship. A lot of you um, who are friends are going to become twin flames. A lot of you um, are friends with someone and you're going to be recognizing that is your twin flame. And that is going to be good. So a wonderful alignment of energies. And a lot of you who are open um, for some sort of a relationship, I recognize that um, you know, you will be okay. You will definitely be okay. And uh, you're going to be recognizing how a situation has been 
transpiring and how people have created problems for you and your partner and your relationships. And I see some of you are going to be um, regaining some state of uh, stability and recognizing that uh, life is full of surprises, but um, you are still holding on and open. If you're hoping for twin flame relationships, expect that a twin flame relationship will come in in this month or this timeline whenever you pick up this video um, because there is twin flame relationship for a lot of you and um, people are going to be now recognizing what has been happening and transpiring. So they are knowing and seeing and recognizing what was happening. So... Um, the control situation that was transpiring, a lot of you are going to be walking away, walking away from some sort of a control situation, uh, recognizing that, you know, this situation doesn't serve any purpose. And I see a lot of you um, young women are going to be like shining, living your life to the fullest and, you know, um, going out and having you know, a wonderful time, whether or not, uh, um, it, you know, you are, you can, and whoever can go out, go out and have a wonderful time. I see some sort of unexpected gifts is going to be coming in. Um, you know, a token of uh, appreciation and saying sorry for something someone is going to be apologizing. I see, um, some of you expect some sort of unexpected um gracious gratitude of gifts so, and uh, i see that this is um going to be coming in um for a lot of you so um some of you are going to be um surprised at some sort of an unexpected gift that is going to be coming in and this is going to be good so when we see gifts it has to do with um romantic gestures uh, roses flowers uh, um, you know, if, whatever you can buy in a gift, a partner could be um, giving you something. Um, the gift can be either material or it could be your sole purpose um, that you're growing stronger by getting out of some sort of a unconventional relationship and getting out of it. I love the energy when twin flame is here. Some of you, you're looking for your twin flame, but your twin flame is in another place or not a city or not a country. So I see some of you, maybe you have a very good friend um, and you're, you could be meeting your twin flame through this person. And this person is going to be recognizing um, that... Uh, um, Gee, these two people are so alike. They're looking for the same things in life. And I see this friend is going to be um, opening up and let you know, or is going to be letting you meet your twin flame. So this is good. So, uh, you know, ladies and gentlemen, expect the unexpected. Recognize a whole lot of things that has been happening and transpiring. And uh, um Know that some of you, especially some of you, some sort of an unexpected gift, unexpected support, unexpected situation could be coming from someone overseas. And it's like um, this person really apologized for something and is recognizing what this thing has done and how this thing has affected your life, your relationship. And I see that this person is going to be apologizing for what they have done. Some of you younger ladies, a new relationship could be coming in. This could be a twin flame relationship. And it is going to be as if some of you were in some sort of a controlling relationship and you got out of this relationship and um, all of a sudden you met someone and you recognize, oh my God, this is uh, um, who I've been looking for my entire life. So, you know, sometimes out of bad things come good things. And uh, um, a whole lot of times we recognize uh, um, this when we are, you know, in a place of uh, um, being in a present of some sort of a um, un, yeah, unjust situation that was created. And um, there is when people are going to be understanding, whoa, um, something that uh, 
has affected some of you and your relationship and people who have been you know overgone in their boundaries and stepping in some of your relationship i see that this is going to be over because some of you are going to be making it right some of you are going to be you know really standing up for some sort of a um unfair games that was played um for you and your marriage or you and your partner and you are standing up to this and you're recognizing that people have gone um their borders so someone could have been interfering in your marriage your relationship and uh, um you know whoever this person is i see a lot of you are going to be saying hey um to the here and no further because uh, um what has transpired you should you didn't have the right to, to make um that sort of a decision and i see that they're going to be barely recognizing what was happening and how people were using their powers and uh, um affecting your marriage your relationship and i see a lot of you are going to be standing your grounds and letting people know that you know they have gone too far in whatever they have done and how they have access um, your relationship and create issues and problems. So I want to say thank you for being here. Please thumbs up, show your likes, my thumbs up. And if you would like to see the extended of this reading, follow me to the other side. If not, I'm saying namaste until next time. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, Sagittarians. Oh my God, Sagittarius. Yeah. Wow, so a lot of you Sagittarians is going to be blocked from dating and it's because of the shutdown, all right? I see a lot of you are keeping an open mind. A lot of you want to be the soulmate. A lot of you are in a relationship with someone and you're wondering whether or not this person is uh, the person for you. Um, A lot of you ladies seems to be looking for a rich man, but ladies... Uh, a man can be rich but full of it, okay? Um, you know, if you're really looking for a relationship, it is about love. It's about someone who you can connect to. Um, and it is about uh, um, you recognizing uh, that, uh, you know, relationship is not based on monetary gains, so, but it is based on someone who is going to be there for you and you're going to be there for um, them. So I see a lot of you working ladies, Sagittarian ladies are going to be blocked, blocked from some sort of a relationship. Um, a lot of you is as if some sort of a blockage is, is placed for some of you to calm down. It's as if some of you have been dating and going and a lot of you are um, really looking for someone with financial abundance. You have met someone, but you don't know how deep their pocket is. And it's kind of an unfair game that is playing if you recognize what is transpiring because a lot of you um, are definitely um, looking for some sort of a rich man um, to come in whether um, or a rich woman to come in. So Sagittarian, I recognize uh, some sort of a situation that is going on and how people are recognizing that uh, some sort of an unfair game was played. And I see um, a lot of you, um, I, I, and it could be a man that is recognizing that, um, you know, a lot of you women um, or a lot of you men are recognizing that your partner basically took you in because um, you were financial stable and you're recognizing this. If you notice past love is here and the past love has to do with... Uh, a lot of you are remembering the passion between you and someone of the past and recognizing the passion that you both have. A lot of you men are going to be recognizing that uh, um, if you men had, um, you know, uh, take in a woman and her daughter or daughters, you're going to be recognizing that this person um, was only based on... Um, financial status there was nothing about love it was about they could go on vacation and they had enough money it, it, it has nothing to do with love and i see a lot of you men are recognizing this now and recognizing that this person is uh, 
um, formulate themselves all about money. And, you know, the mother is the same thing. The child is the same thing. And a lot of you men are recognizing this. And I see a lot of you men is going to be putting some sort of a blockage or a stop to this relationship because you recognize that these people were not, you know, on top of the game. It's as if you recognize, oh, these people is all about money. It's all about money for them. Um, a lot of you young ladies are going to be out scouting um, and, and some of you young ladies are going to be reconnecting with some sort of a whole love, past love, as someone who you have great passion with. I see you re reconnecting with this person. Well, so young ladies, I see definitely, definitely um, that you young ladies are really going to be having um, some sort of a fun um, atmosphere that is transpiring. A lot of you um, women, 45 years and older, have been having some sort of an affair um, and it's going to be um, blocked. So whatever the affair that you um, women, 45 years and older, was having, people are going to be recognizing it and they're going to be blocking um, this affair. A lot of you um, working ladies have been having an affair, seeing other people, and uh, it's as if now it's blocked because you can't leave the house or you can't leave where you are. Um, a lot of uh, information, a lot of situation is coming out and they're recognizing what has happened and what has transpired. So it is a situation where blockages is going to be placed and it's because of the shutdown for some people, it's going to be affecting some people who oh, were having a fair, I see um, it's going to be affecting a whole lot of you people because a whole lot of Mark Rakels is going to be coming in. A whole lot of the new changes is going to be coming in. And it, it is definitely going to be affecting a lot of uh, people. So life is about to change for people who are having affairs. I see a lot of people recognize that, yeah, with the changes and with all the changes with the coronavirus, a lot of people are just getting really pissed off with this virus because uh, people who are having an affairs, so you know, they can't go out anymore or they can't be out anymore late. So I see a lot of people are going to be tearing their ear out um, because it is not uh, viable for them to have any reason to be out of the house. So, <laughs> oh, sorry. So, um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, but this coronavirus has been creating so much havoc, so much havoc for people, so much havoc, a lot of uh, havoc was created for a lot of people and, um, you know, uh, uh, things are going to be coming out that people are going to be recognized. Oh my God. Um, you know, how this could be happening, how this could be transpiring and it's going to be recognizing exactly, um, you know, the situation that was happening and transpiring and recognizing that life is about to change and how life is about to change is to recognize uh, um, that, uh, uh, you know, everything is happening. It's affecting your love life and it's affecting everything around you. But passion is going to be here for the people. Um, some of you working ladies could be, um, yeah, you can no longer say that you have um, you have a travel job or that sort of a thing. But I still see that some of you working ladies are going to be meeting up on a whole love. And a lot of you women are going to be meeting up on some sort of an old love. And that is where you are going to be um reconnecting with people and situation so i see um this situation is happening and is transpired where a whole lot of um all the things that was happening and transpired is going to be coming out of where people are going to be recognizing jesus my whole life i can't do anything i can't have any fun anymore and this is what is coming up so a lot of you ladies um, could be blocked from your passion while a lot of you ladies could be meeting up on a whole flame and is going to be having it out. So whatever makes you happy, um, it, you know, you have to make your choices um, because right now um, 
you know a lot of people lives are being affected and their lives are just being affected because uh, they're now recognizing that uh, um, they need to create some sort of a balance in their world and recognize uh, what it is and how you can be um you know unexpected things can affect your love life so women are the ones who are up and out Men are the ones who is recognizing that they're just with a gold digger. A lot of you men is going to be recognizing that your, um, you know, your girlfriend and her daughters or, or her girlfriend and her kids are just gold diggers. Okay. There's a difference with people who try to create some sort of a stability for their world, but there was something with people who try to, um, you know, be gold diggers and that sort of a thing. And I see that this is going to be happening and transpiring. So whatever is happening, whatever is affecting people, I see truths are going to be coming out. People are now going to be recognizing um, a whole lot of um, unfair games, a whole lot of affair, a lot of cheating that has been transpiring. It is what it is. So, um, you know, enjoy yourself, however, because a lot of people are going crazy with this shutdown. So, um, thumbs up, show your loves by thumbs up. If you want to see the extended of this video, you can follow us to the other side. If not, I am saying namaste. Remember to use a timestamp in order um, to check out who else is going to be coming up. Use a timestamp and I'm saying namaste until next time. Yes, yes. It is the month of love, Ophiosis. Let's see what's coming up for you, Ophiosis. So we say romantic feelings. A lot of you, uh, Ophiosis, have some sort of a romantic feelings for a, uh, a housewife. A lot of you have recognized that this person have uh, a lot of things going on and you are... I'm falling in love deeper and deeper with this person every day because of uh, some sort of a dishonest play that was created in this person's life. I just see this person is just all by themselves, away from the world, and uh, um, is just trying to figure out what is their next uh, gameplay. Okay, it's not really gameplay. This person is just uh, have enough. This person have dealt with enough. Some of you lawyers could be really um, falling in love with a client. You recognize the on the dishonest play of this client's partner and what this client's partner have done. I see freedom is coming in. Whatever is happening and transpiring, a lot of you are going to be free. You young men between the age of 18 and 45. Are going to be free. You're going to be coming out of some sort of a situation. So opiosis. Um, men that was in some sort of a relationship or some sort of a situation. I see you're going to be free yourself coming out of some sort of a situation. Then I see communication. A lot of you men are texting back and front, expressing um your feelings of love and uh, um you know going ahead and uh, making a lot of romantic gesture. I see that this connection was destined to be. So what is happening, ladies and gentlemen? Um, you are all freeing yourself from situation that no longer serves. So I see um young men um 18 to 25 years old. A lot of you could have met someone at school. Um this is uh, a new love that is coming in and I see you both uh, are expressing your um, self, um, how you feel about each other. The energy of destiny is here. You young men, you are destined to meet whoever this person is. Um, and, uh, you know, sometimes the unexpected bring you, um, you know, some unexpected things that is just powerful because this relationship looks like it's how it's um, worn out and have a good future, some sort of unexpected future, good outcomes is going to be coming to this relationship. So young men um, between the age of 18 and 25, 
you have met someone and whether you have met this is going to be beautiful because you were destined to meet this person a lot of you young men could have caught up in some sort of unrealistic um, love affair and this unexpected love affair is going to be bringing you a lot of satisfaction and joy because some of you um, have finally been freed from some sort of a relationship that was going on. You free yourself and you're taking back your power and recognizing and understanding um, what was happening and transpiring and really recognizing a whole lot of uh, um, situation that was transpiring. So this is good. A lot of you women are free now, free from um, some sort of, uh, especially single women. Um, this is a month where a lot of doors, a lot of uh, openings could be transpiring for a lot of you single women. So single women that is looking for love, that has uh, um, gotten away from um, some sort of a unhealthy relationship. I see you single women are going to be coming back and is going to be meeting um, someone new. And I see that you are also destined to meet this new person. So destiny is coming up for, um, you know, um, divorced women um, who their divorce is finally over. They're free. Um, and also destiny is coming up for young people between the ages of 18 and uh, uh, 25 that has been going through not healthy relationships you finally get out you're seeing the light of the end of the tunnel you're meeting someone and you're expressing um your love so a lot of young people under the age of uh, um 18 to 25 is going to be expressing a lot of love in this timeline some of you are dealing with people in higher authorities and they're recognizing um, you know, that uh, um, a lot of you have something really unexplainable about you that makes uh, you be so assist, assist, accessory to other people and other situation and how you basically create your life in such a wonderful way where, you know, a lot of respect is going to be coming in from some of you ophiosis some of you ophiosis who are investigator and that sort of a thing you're going to be recognizing um you know that there is a lot of people out there who are really on you know the positive direction moving in their life but yet still there are outside influence that created a lot of problems in people relationships so I'll, i see a lot of relationship therapy a lot of people that is going in and is looking for some sort of a therapy to help them with their relationships and is genuinely genuinely recognizing um what was happening and what was transpiring and um recognizing that you know life is full of surprises but yet still um you know you can still change the way um whatever life brings you you are going to be using this in this month especially in love and 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 just um you know accept um a lot of you are going to be working on your relationship a lot of you are going to be open to work on your relationship so i see a lot of that is coming in a lot of people are going to be recognizing how um wonderful it is when you recognize who you are and uh, the transition that is transpiring in your world and how you created a lot of wealth and stability. So this is basically a wonderful alignment of energy where you're going to be recognizing how important it is so, um, to access so, um, you know, your heart chakra and heal your heart chakra. Because a lot of you are going to be ill in your art chakra, especially single people. Unexpectedly, you are going to be recognizing what has created issues in your life. And it's going to be healing that in a really powerful way. So, um, open up. Love is about um, healing the past. Opening up your heart to new love. 
understanding that uh, um, you know people and situation that come across you and affect your life uh, your love life is that they are all lessons lessons okay lessons for you to recognize what is going on a lot of young people could be having some sort of a divorce issue um that could be transpiring and it's as if uh, you're going through some sort of a divorce but uh, going through the divorce you could meet up with friends and you met someone and um you know someone has been really supportive to you um whoever this happens to um you could be meeting uh, um let's say um you went out with friends you're going through a rough time friends took you out uh, and you met someone and you started communicating with this person and by communicating with this person um you're now recognizing um what was happening and what was transpiring and this is going to be bringing a whole lot of romance. So congratulations, Ophiosis. You are the ones who are coming up with a whole lot of romance um, in this timeline. This is good because what we recognize is that some sort of unexpected situation that is coming in is going to be showing up where it is going to be helping you to exhilarate and heal your heart chakras in a wonderful way where you are going to be connecting um, the heart chakra and recognizing that the pain, the hurt um, that you have gone through, that it was for you to be stronger and to learn to love unconditionally. Even when people hurt you um, and um, create a whole lot of problems for you, um, you know, they're going to be recognizing how um, beautiful it is for you to accept um, that, you know, love is the only thing that has been transpiring. And people are going to be recognizing how very beautiful love is in this period. So sometimes, you know, things happen where you, you have to step back and you, you now recognize that, uh, um, you know, I've gone through a lot of pain and hate um, from people who have treated me unfairly in my relationship but i will overcome this so ladies and gentlemen i'm going to say to you namaste if you'd like to see the extended of this reading follow us to the other side please show your love by thumbs up and share these reading i love you guys namaste until next time mm -hmm.